Hey there, I'm Jamana. Welcome back to another fun DIY for Modern Need. Today's DIY is one of my favorites. I'm gonna show you how to make this really chic and elegant moon lamp. It's super simple, it's very, very cost effective, and you are absolutely gonna love it. So let's get started. Let me show you this moon lamp here that we're gonna be making, you guys. This is like high class right here. This little base is just like a little tchotchke that I picked up from Target. Just like one of those like Nate Burkis decorative items, but it definitely reminds me of a chunky bracelet. So if you can't find anything like this, um, you know, dig through your costume jewelry. I'm sure you can find a chunky bracelet. You could take an unused cookie cutter that fits the dimensions of the bottom and spray paint it gold or wrap it with some decorative paper, whatever you've got going on, and then you've got a base. You can actually do this without a base. You don't necessarily need a base to accomplish this one, but I think having like a little base like really elevates it and just makes it all the more elegant. We're gonna need one of these glass globes that I picked up at the hardware store. I actually got this at Home Depot. It's in the lighting section. These are replacement shades for like ceiling fans and light fixtures, so that's where I got it. The little one, was maybe six dollars no joke six dollars for this cute white globe glass uh the larger one was i think maybe around seven bucks i'm gonna include links to these um below so definitely don't even worry about that i'm gonna have a link you can order it online um, the next thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need some spun a sponge to put your paint on and i just use regular acrylic paint i got acrylic paint in black and in white and in gray so I'm gonna try to kind of recreate the modeled look of the moon with this. Last thing you'll need is you'll need something to actually make this light up. So I just picked up these little puck lights that they're the touch lights, electric touch lights. I prefer this puck light because then you'll get kind of like a constant glow. So definitely look for that. I will definitely include links to this below. So don't worry, got you covered. My last recommendation is use some gloves. Um, we're gonna be painting this from the inside. And the reason we're painting it from the inside is because when it's not lit, it's actually really pretty um, on its own. But if you kind of put the paint on the outside of it, I think it would look kind of funky if it was not lit up. So if you paint it on the inside, you get like this really pretty little glass decorative object that still looks like a moon because you can make out the faintness of the paint. But then when you light it up, it glows from the inside out and it still looks like the moon. You're gonna wanna use some gloves, otherwise you're gonna get paint on your fingers and then you'll touch the outside and then you're just gonna have a mess. Okay, got my gloves, ready to go. Um, I just took a regular kitchen sponge. I did not even splurge on one of those like sea sponges that people use to kind of stencil and give that look. I just took a kitchen sponge that I cut in half. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take a disposable plate and just kind of squirt out your colors. I'm gonna put all three. I'm gonna put the white, kind of like a medium gray, and the black. Don't like go into the gray and black right away because it tends to create a really dark look and you want it to have kind of like this light look, this modeled effect. I'm gonna start with this little one. I've already made my big one. I'm gonna make a little one because one's not enough for me. I need two in my house. Um, you're gonna take your little one and just kind of set it on your table. Take your sponge and just kind of like hit maybe both the white and the gray at the same time and blot them on your plate. So you just start kind of creating like some new colors. It's easier to start light and then gradually build on the dark. You don't wanna start with the dark and then try to whiten it out because the first thing you put on is the gonna be the first layer that you see from the outside. So start with the light colors and then you know build on the, the dark one. So you don't wanna just kind of go hog wild on it and put paint everywhere. You wanna kind of you know space it out, go a little darker in some areas, try to create like those little craters and things in others. The first time I did this, I didn't even use a sponge. I just used like a wadded up paper towel because it was a little easier to manipulate and a little easier to create like round shapes. So if you find the sponge is unwieldy, cut it smaller, cut it into a circle shape, um, or just use a paper towel and wad it up and it'll kind of create the same texture. Okay, so once you're done doing all of that, 
honestly, like that's all there is to it. Set it aside to dry. So if you are using a base or something like, you know, let set it upside down, let it dry. When you're all done, here's my finished one. Here's the pretty one that I showed you earlier. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these puck lights, these battery operated puck lights. I'm just gonna give you like the disclaimer right now. Don't put an open flame candle in here. This is designed as a light fixture. It's not designed to take the heat of flame. So don't, don't do that. You'll break your thing. It'll crack, start a fire, bad stuff. Because the battery operated ones are gonna be so easy to use. And especially since it's so light, you just pick it up, you tap it, you turn it on, put your light on top. That's all there is to it. Um, make a series of them. This would be like the cutest lamp in a baby's nursery, I think. It'll just create like a really pretty effect. It's really subtle, it's very modern. Isn't it so cute? I love it, I absolutely love it. Replacement what? What are we replacing? Oh yeah! My gloves on, so I can glove it up. Sing the gloves on. Exactly you want. <laughs>